and welcome back to the Kakasa with IFRIS tutorials. In this video, we look at reports management under IFRIS. The reports to be covered include daily transaction reports, VAT sales reports, and VAT purchase reports. Be sure to have watched the previous video on fiscal document management before you move on to this next level. The links to these tutorials can be found in the description space below this video. Once you've finished logging into IFRIS system, on the left side, we have the last menu. It has reports. It has sales reports. It has return filing reports and other reports. Under sales reports, we have view, daily transaction reports. These record every transaction that has occurred under your office account. So in case you're looking for a particular invoice, you've issued a particular day, a debit note you've issued on a particular day, a credit note, you have issued on a particular day, we come and select view transactional details. So it gives you an option of searching by any of these parameters. You can select any of these parameters depending on the volume of transactions you have. You can also select a given time period based on the dates provided here. So in this scenario, you can decide to just search and get details populated down here for the transactions that have taken place. We have debit notes, credit notes, document type, the buyer's team, the buyer's legal name. We have uh, the total amount. We have the issuing time. We also have the user and the operator that issued the invoice. So this, this is under the daily transactions report. So are uh, the Z reports daily? give the transaction details of a given day but the details are provided at the close of day since today has not yet closed the z daily reports cannot be generated so in case you want to see a given transaction that has taken place today you can only see it under view daily transaction reports so if you want to see a z daily report for today it can be accessible tomorrow the same applies for the Z monthly reports and for the Z annual reports. That is, those that is that is it with the sales reports. Then we have return filing reports. Return filing reports. We have the VAT sales reports and the VAT purchases reports. VAT sales reports is composed of all transactions, all sales that have been done by this particular team. We select VAT sales reports. We are able to search based on the parameters such as name of purchaser, TIN, FDN, the date from, and the date to. We can just click search and get details auto-populated. These details are in a similar format to the details of the information we supply in our monthly VAT return. So we can easily export this information from Excel and get this whole information and transfer it to our VAT return. So under the monthly return filing reports, we also have VAT purchases. We can also search them using the parameters, the team, the supplier name, the FDN. We can also search based on the date parameter. We can select the period we want to search. We can also just search and be able to get the details of the information where our team was declared as purchasers okay so if our team was declared by the supplier all these these are the details of all the suppliers that have declared our team so we can also go ahead and export this information and also be able to supply it to our vat monthly returns that is to do with return filing reports and then we have other reports such as the validation history. The validation history is composed of uh, the searches, the, the, the evidence that you have validated in your account. You can be able to see a history of these details. Then we have the report history. We have request for documents completed. Uh, we have scenarios where a particular task has come to the login of an account where particular documents are requested. In case we have those requests and we have completed them, we get the summary in these details under the request for documents completed. 
We also have approved credit notes and debit notes summarized in these reports as well. We can also input the search parameters and be able to search and get the information. When we come to the dashboard, we have uh, a summary of the monthly, weekly, and annual uh, invoices issued. So to view only annual invoices, we deselect the monthly, the weekly, and the daily to have a summary of the annual. So when we select the annual, we get this uh, physicalized document inquiry. But since the, the period is exceeding one year, we cannot get a report for this same. So we can close, we can go ahead and view only the monthly. Once we select monthly, we get the details as shown. These details can also be exported to Excel for further analysis as one may desire. We can also select monthly and weekly, sorry. We can select weekly and also search. That is empty for now because there is no weekly transaction as of now. So, to put back the details, we come back and deselect and unselect them to have the chart up and running again. Uh, this is uh, a statistics for the receipts and invoices issued. When we come to tax, tax statistics, then we have a summary of the total VAT, the total amount and the VAT that we expect from a given company. So this, the company that has logged in is able to see the total VAT that it has issued for the given period as indicated in the graph. I hope these videos have been helpful to you. In this series of tutorials, we have covered one, the IFRS overview showing what it is, how it works and how to get you started. Two, registration on Kakasa with IFRIS. Three, stock management under Kakasa with IFRIS. Four, fiscal document management under Kakasa with IFRIS, looking at issuing of e-invoices and e-receipts, credit notes and debit notes. And lastly, reports management under Kakasa with IFRIS. The links to these tutorials can be found in the description space below this video. In case of any inquiries, don't hesitate to email us or call us using the numbers across your screen. Kindly consider hitting the subscription button and notification bell so that you don't miss any tax-related videos. Uganda Revenue Authority. Developing Uganda together.